Today we are going to pick up where we left off yesterday and talk about some more static stuff. But we will focus on a specific feature that was introduced with C Sharp and .NET 3.5, which is called extension methods. They allow us to quote unquote add methods to an existing data type without creating a derived type or modifying the data type that we are quote unquote adding a method to. They are essentially static methods inside of a static class, but we called them as if they were instance methods of the data type that we wrote the extension method for. So you could call it syntactic sugar. It is functionality that already exists, but through this new feature we can access that functionality in a cleaner way. Before we write our own code, I want to just demonstrate what it is that we are going for here. And I'm going to use a string object to do that. Now bear in mind this code is not going to compile because we are going to be using a method that does not exist. So as far as existing functionality is concerned, if we wanted to determine if name is null or empty, we would do so using the static method is null or empty and passing the string to that method. Uh, it works, but personally I would rather do something different. I would rather call is null or empty as if it were an instance method like this. So I would use the object name and then dot and then call is null or empty. Well, we can do that with extension methods. It's a syntactic sugar for something that already exists and extension methods allow us to do that. So let's look at how we can do that with our shape utility because as it is, you know, we do have to do a lot of extra typing to use the is polygon static method, but through just a simple change with our static method, we can make this an extension method. And that is simply using this. And it's a simple change, but it's this entire parameter that determines if is polygon is going to be an extension method. So we use the keyword this followed by the data type that we want to extend. In this case, every shape object is going to get an isPolygon method, and then the name of the parameter, and then we use it just like we would inside of any other method. So in order to use this extension method, let's go back to program.cs, and really before we even use this extension method, let's see if this code is going to work as is, because we did add that keyword this in front of shape. So is this going to work as it has in the past? And the answer is yes, true and false. So even though we have defined this using the this keyword, and making this an extension method, we can still use it as a static method of the static shape utility class. But we are doing this extension method because we want to get away from that static class dot static method syntax. So let's get rid of the shape utility and replace it with the actual object. And notice we are not getting any red squigglies whatsoever. Let's run it and we will get the same results as we got before. Now there are some rules that we do have to follow regarding extension methods. The first being that they have to be defined inside of a static class. If they aren't, our code is not going to compile. So they have to be defined inside of a static class. And the accessibility of the method has to be either public or internal. It has to be accessible by whatever code you want to have access to it. It cannot be private or it cannot be protected. So extension methods are just like static methods except for the this keyword before the first parameters data type shape in this case. And we can also have an extension method with multiple arguments. So we can do int foo string bar and of course we would want to do something with those values inside of the method but to use this extension method then we don't have to specify shape because that's being done with our object so all we would have to do is use an integer and then a string and the red squiggly goes away we'll do the same thing except different values 
and voila. So you can have as many arguments that you want within an extension method. It's really up to your specific needs. So there you have extension methods. They are wonderful. They're great. They're fantastic. I love them. I use them on a daily basis, and I'm sure you will too.